In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of installing and configuring the SDK for Amazon Web Services on Node.js. Okay, to install Node.js, just go to nodejs.org and you can click on the package suitable for your operating system. And it'll download, in this case, an MSI installer. So I'll save that. And then just follow the uh, setup wizard. To install the SDK, you can use the Node Package Manager. First, navigate to the directory where you want to install the SDK. Then from the command prompt, type npm install AWS SDK. Once the SDK is installed, you can load the SDK using a standard module require statement by typing var AWS equal require and then pass the module name AWS SDK. To demonstrate this, I'll use the REPL or read evaluate print loop in Node by typing Node from the command prompt. And then I can type my require statement var AWS equal require AWS SDK. Now that you've installed and loaded the SDK, you'll need to configure it with the AWS config object. At a minimum, you'll need to configure credentials and a region. Now let's take a look at configuring credentials for the SDK. The preferred method for configuring credentials when using EC2 instances is to use IAM roles. When using IAM roles on EC2 instances, no credential configuration is required when installing the SDK. Alternatively, you can use environment variables. When using environment variables, you will need to set an AWS access key ID, an AWS secret access key, and optionally, you can configure your AWS region. And lastly, you can use a configuration file on the file system. Keep in mind, if you use a file on the file system to keep it out of source control, since it contains your access key and secret key. If you configure your credentials from the file system, you'll use the aws.config.loadfrompath operation and pass in a path and file name to a JSON file that contains configuration data. A final option for configuring credentials is to hard code them in your application. While this is not considered a best practice and is not recommended, there are scenarios where you will want to hard code credentials, but only if they are read-only and scoped to specific resources. In addition to configuring credentials in region, you can set your max retries from the default value of three to whatever value you specify, and you can configure the logger, such as process.standardout. To view your configuration from the REPL, you can type aws.config, and you'll see your access key, region, as well as additional options.